Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I didn't return to you last night for the premiere video for uh, this album review that I'm going to be doing. And this is for Coldplay's third studio album that I just got done listening to just now. Uh, which I finally got a chance to listen to it this morning. And it's for X and Y uh, that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 66 minute album which it, I'm including that Japanese bonus track I guess you could say or an extra bonus track I guess you could say and let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this album review uh now yeah I was pretty impressed with this album um the beginning was very good and when you get towards the end of the album, that's when the songs start to feel iffy. Like, not bad, but when I heard Speed of Sound uh, since a while ago, I thought it was going to be something a little more interesting, but it was it was good for what it was. It was still pretty good. Just uh, some of... Chris Martin's falsettos in this album tend to be eh, sometimes. Uh, it just depends on the song, mostly. Um, X and Y, the title track, was very good. Talk, I really enjoyed. Uh, Fix You was very good, too. Um, even though he did a lot of falsettos in that song it started picking up towards the end of the song which i really enjoyed so square one what if and white shadows were excellent songs in my opinion uh they really did very good with how they're sounding and how it's executing so it's nothing fillerish just it's still good um Speed of sound, like I said. I don't know if I was too impressed with the song, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. Um, so I'd give it a 5 out of 5, even though it probably deserves a 4.5. Uh, I'm still just going to be nice and be like, okay, this song is pretty good for what it went for. So, yeah, a message was... An interesting song the hardest part is probably the last single that I enjoyed and then when you get closer to the end of the album like after track 11 at the very end of the album it starts to feel samey meaning the songs sound similar almost but low was a good song I enjoyed it um the video for Talk was weird with the robot and all that. <laughs> and it was weird. The hardest part, like I said, was a very good song. Swallowed in the Sea was a really good one. Uh, Twisted Logic. Like the title of it, but yeah, the song didn't perform very well, but it did alright for what it went for. Till Kingdom Come, the hidden track, was, it was nice with the acoustic guitar, but I don't know how I was feeling about Chris Martin singing it, it just, yeah, it was fine. Not a bad song. And How You See the World was the final track on the album, the official final song on the album. It's an extra track that's on a different edition of this album, probably a digital bonus track or something like that, I don't know for sure, but it still did all right, so I gave it a 4.5 out of 5, um, yeah, White Shadows was very good, um, even though it, the runtime was like five and a half minutes, it still was enjoyable, so, for execution, production-wise, and mixing, this album did pretty good. I wouldn't consider it to be my favorite album. Of, well, it is my favorite, but it's going to get a certain rating. Um, 
because three songs kind of let me down a bit and became my least favorites, which were Twisted Logic, Till Kingdom Come, and How You See the World. Those were my least favorites. Everything else from, I think, 11 out of 14 songs were very good, um, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to this Coldplay X and Y album. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think... Coldplay X and Y was a pretty good album. Uh, highly recommend you check it out. Um, I don't know if I see myself buying it for sure, but it is one of my personal favorites. But the first two albums were pretty good, like really good. This one kind of brings it down to another standard to where you're unsure if you like it or not because Chris Martin's falsettos really take over this album which sound nice but it can be a bit of a problem depending on how the song's gonna sound structurally uh so first score I'm gonna give Coldplay X and Y album an 8.5 out of 10 this was a pretty good album definitely check this album out if you're if you like Coldplay's older music I think after Viva La Vida, they started experimenting a lot more with their sound. Not that I hate it, it is just, it depends on how the album's gonna sound, mainly. But, yeah, I'll be reviewing Viva La Vida, Death and All His Friends, uh, or Death and All His Friends. Uh, that album's gonna be tomorrow morning, I think. Or something like that. I don't know for sure. If I have to delay it to, of course, my birthday or whatever and premiere it that day, that's fine. But, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing it that day on the 22nd. But I'm going to try. So, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Coldplay album X and Y if you've heard it. And if you like this album review I made for you guys this morning, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for the Coldplay Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends album review. I hope it's tomorrow. I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm doing the Wednesday versus video, uh, premiering at midnight tonight, I believe, or maybe after that. I don't know 100% for sure, but I'll keep you updated on what videos I decide to do. But anyways, I wanted to review their albums from the beginning, going all the way to the Ace Studio album, which is Everyday Life. And, yeah, I don't personally hate Coldplay. I just think certain albums of theirs can be iffy. And I really started losing interest in them right after Milo Ziloto and Ghost Stories. Ghost Stories, I think, was the last album I heard from them. After that, I just... Coldplay fell off for me until I went back to them in 2019 with Everyday Life. And I found that to be not a bad album, but I'll give you my initial thoughts on it, what I think of it now, uh, on October 2nd. So definitely tune in for that. I hope you enjoyed this um, X and Y album review I did for Coldplay for their Marathon Studio album reviews I am decided to do. So stay safe, take care, hopefully you enjoyed this album review, and I'll see you in my next video.